Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 13.38, okay? It says that 300 kilogram bar B, originally at rest, is being towed over a series of small rollers. Determine the force in the cable when T is equal to 5 seconds if the motor M is drawing in the cable for a short time at a rate of V equal to 0.4 T squared. The unit is in meters per second. Where T is in seconds, from 0 to 6. How far does the bar move in 5 seconds? Neglect the mass of the cable, pulley, and the rollers. Alright, so what we have in here, this system, is that we have this bar B, and it's being pulled by our motor M, therefore, we have this uh, tension ca cable in tension, okay? Now, we're asked to determine the force of this tension, and we're also asked to how far, or what's the position after, like, 5 seconds seconds have uh, passed. So what I like to do in this type of problems is first I like to get my givens writing down in here and what the first thing that they give me is my mass which is equal to 300 kilograms and then they're saying that this is at rest so we start at rest. This is also an important um, this is very important when they tell us that it starts at rest, meaning our initial velocity, acceleration, and position, everything is equal to zero. Determine the force in the cable when t is equal to 5 seconds. So we are given 5 seconds, and they're also asking us what is this force, or basically what is this tension in the cable. Then they're also giving us that the equation for our velocity in terms of time is equal to 0.4 t square in meters per second and they're telling us uh, again they're asking us what is the position when we have this five second mark all right so now that we have written our givens what i like to do is that i like to do my um, a free body diagram so i drive my free body diagram in here and i'm going to represent this block b by a rectangular shape in here so this is our rectangle and what forces do we have? Well first we have the rectangle given, the, I'm sorry we have the force given by our tension then we have the weight of this rectangle that we're going to call it W of B. We also have the normal force to counteract this weight that I'm going to call it N of B. All right? So this is all we have for this free body diagram. And the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to do a summatory of forces in the x direction. And we're going to assume that going to the right is positive, okay? Now we know that this should be equal to my mass times my acceleration in the x direction. Okay, so what forces do I have in the x direction? Well, in the x direction, I have t going to my right. So I have positive t has to be equal to my mass times my acceleration in the x direction. So we want to find this force t and we do know my mass but we don't know what is our acceleration. But we do know what's the velocity equation. So what we can say is that we can apply our relationship between acceleration and velocity that we know that acceleration is equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to time. Meaning that we will have the derivative with respect to time of our velocity equation which is 0.4 t square okay and if we perform this derivative we will find out that this is equal to 0.8 times t and the units should be in meter per second square so now we know our acceleration we know our mass we can just solve for our variable t and we will have the mass well the mass is in our givens which is 300 kilograms so we got 300 multiplied by my acceleration. Well, my acceleration is the one that we just found, which is 0.8 t, okay? And for the units, we have kilograms in here and we have meter per second squared in here. When we multiply these two, we get newtons. So if we multiply these two numbers, this will give me a total of 240 times t. Now, the question is asking to find this force when 
the time is equal to 5 seconds, so we're going to plug in 5 for our time. So we got 240 multiplied by 5, and if we put this into our calculator, we get 1,200 newtons, all right? And we just found our first answer for our question. The second question that we need to solve is the position when time is equal to 5 seconds. And in order to find this position, we need to find the position equation and we're going to get it from our velocity equation again. Now, we know that the relationship between velocity and position is that velocity is equal to the change in position with respect to time. Therefore, if we solve for the change in position, we will find out that this is equal to velocity times the change in time. We perform integral on both sides. All right. And then... What are our boundary conditions? So for position, we have that we start at zero since we start at rest, and we're gonna end up at a final position that we don't know. I'm just gonna call it S in order to keep uh, our variables the same. And for my right side integral, we're changing with respect to time. Therefore, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change this velocity into my velocity equation in respect to time, which is our 0.4 t squared, so we got 0.4 t squared times the, the change in time, and we're starting at time equal to zero, and we're ended up at our time variable t, okay? So we perform the left side integral, we're gonna end up having s equal, and the right side of our integral, we're going to have 0.4 after performing this integral, divided by 3 times t cubed. And now we found our position with respect to time. And all we need to do is find our position when time is equal to 5 seconds. So we're going to have 0 0.4 divided by 3 times 5 cubed. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will get a total of 16.67 and the units should be in meters. And this should be my second answer and my final answer for this problem. So if you guys liked the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.